what's this? Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Just me and my uh, old dog chilling in the man cave. As you can tell, like a lot of the riding we've been doing lately is mostly downhill and for good reason. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I still like to do the trail kind of stuff, but I think that uh, the downhill stuff is, is really more what I'm, I'm leaning towards. So I've been doing a lot of research on ways that I could kind of modify my uh, bike to give me an advantage on the downhill stuff. So while I was looking, I was like, uh, okay, so what can I do to make the front end have a little more slack? Because that's really the only place that the bike lacked. Uh, after doing a little research, I found all kinds of just crazy wild things that you can do. And uh, I think that the easiest thing is the Mino Link. Knew absolutely nothing about this Mino Link. I don't know why it's there. Never noticed it, never paid attention to it. But Trek was really smart when they designed this bike and they give you the option to change the geometry. I mean, you can change it, that, that's crazy. So what's cool about it is that when it comes uh, shipped from the factory, it comes in the steeper setting. So basically set up more for climbing and, and things like that. But biggest your all around trail ride, which was great because that's what I did a lot of in the very beginning. But now uh, just the whole uh, lift thing uh, and downhill excitement is a lot more fun. So we're gonna stick with that. Uh, about the Mino Link, so Trek uh, designed it where you can just flop this around. You can do it in the field. Uh, you can do it on the fly. It's a five millimeter wrench, uh, hex wrench. Super easy to do, very convenient. So uh, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna make some changes back and forth, get some measurements and see uh, what kind of difference it makes. So let's check it out. We'll pull a quick measurement from the center hub in the back to the front. Measurement there about 46 inches. So we'll go ahead and make the adjustment on the minor link. So in order to make this adjustment, all you need is a hex wrench. Basically you just put it in there and loosen it up. There you go. Pull that out. There we go. So now, basically all we're gonna do is take the minor link the way it was, flip it the other way. And to do that, just grab the rear here, pick it up, slide the minor link back in place. There we go. We'll do the same thing for the other side. All right, now we got our adjustment made. Go ahead and pull a measurement. We'll go ahead and Stretch our tape out here. Same thing. Center the hub to the front. And looks like we got a half an inch. So, I don't know what that equates to in degrees, but I'm gonna guess and say half a degree. That would just give it a test drive. Took it out for a little spin, just to kinda get a feel for it. I mean, you can see the, the geometry. You can tell that it's, it's a little slack here on the front end. But uh, what I'll do is uh, we'll do a still shot here. I'll swap it back because it's super easy. And uh, I guess you can give your own opinion. But as far as the ride goes, it does feel uh, a little more laid out. <clears throat> the handlebar height uh, is kind of a little different. But uh, I'm also going to measure the, uh, the bottom bracket because it's supposed to lower that a little bit too. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll measure it like it is and we'll swap it around, try it again, just to see. It's super easy to do. So. Pretty cool, something to play with. You can even do it mid-trail, mid-ride, before a ride, whatever. Just kind of get a feel for it, do some different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it back. We'll check it out again. With the mono flipped, looking at about I got 12 and three quarters. 12 and three quarters. Bottom bracket height. So I'm gonna swap it around. We'll check it out again.
So, I'm not sure if you can really tell or not, but it looks a little steeper. It's really hard to tell with the, the naked eye, I guess, uh, the tape says it all, you know, with the, the measuring and whatnot, but I definitely think that it does add some. Half a degree is kind of hard to see, but Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. It's 13 and a half there. So yeah, it definitely brings it up. So you can see there's a noticeable difference. I hope if uh, anybody had any questions or concerns uh, with the Mino Link, I know that I, I kind of had a few questions about it. I'm glad that uh, I decided to do a little research, stumbled across, across this stuff. So yeah, if you got any questions or something, just uh, leave me a comment. I'll do the best I can to help you. And uh, Appreciate y'all checking out this video. All right, till next time. Later.